goods sold would be opening purchases so oh, oh, sorry opening inventory plus purchases minus ending so here we go the opening purchases uh, sorry opening inventory is 240000 we have purchases 950000 and how much is our ending inventory 170000 it means that much worth of goods or inventory that we have sold so the answer would be 240000 plus 950000 minus 170000 it is 102 1,020,000 so now you can make the income statement so sales minus cgs is equal to gross profit and from there you minus admin and selling expense you find out net operating income right can you do that i'm sure you can do that i have pasted its solution here so you can just compare that so sales minus cost of goods sold we have gross profit and from gross profit you less selling and admin you find out the net operating income right here we go now the other understanding of the cost which we already know is the difference between direct and indirect costs so what are the direct costs direct costs that can be easily traced or conveniently traced for example direct material direct labor indirect costs are those costs which cannot be easily traced or conveniently traced and can be applied on a unit of product for example manufacturing overhead right so in previous uh, you know um, lecture we talked about manufacturing cost and non manufacturing cost under non manufacturing cost sorry under under manufacturing cost we talked about direct material direct labor and manufacturing overhead and over there we discussed sorry over there we discussed that manufacturing cost includes indirect material and indirect labor right so this classification is specifically based on just direct direct cost and indirect cost not the segregation of manufacturing overhead right so either costs are direct either costs are indirect so can you give me another example of indirect cost which cannot be easily traced we talked about over there for example the lubricants right the electricity bill right so so i'm going to be making a breakout room so in this breakout room you need to segregate the cost with respect to the cost subject whether this is indirect or indirect so i'm giving you 10 minutes to solve this so you can take a picture and you can share the screen in your breakout room can you go back to the one more slide again? Like I just want to take a picture and then go to the exercise. This one? No, the one before, like talking about direct cost and indirect cost. Uh, yes, 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 this one. Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm establishing a breakout room. So we have the I'm making three groups. Okay.
Sun Ho, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, Please join the breakout room. Okay. So after 10 minutes, we will be sharing our answers. Hey guys, welcome back. I just ended the breakout room. So let's talk about the solution here. <clears throat> okay, everyone. Okay, everyone joined our main session or still not? No, still not. Okay, so let's just wait one minute. <clears throat> Okay, now everybody is here. Okay, let's talk about a solution. So, here we go. So the wages of pediatric nurses and the cost subject is the pediatric department. It is direct or indirect? Direct. Direct cost. Right? Mm. Here we go. Let me just. So it's a direct cost. Number two, prescription drug and on a particular patient. Direct or indirect? Direct cost. Direct cost. Well done. Direct. Meeting the hospital, the pediatric department. The third one. Indirect cost. Why is that? Because it's not easily traceable. You don't know how you know this particular nurse or this particular patient how much he consumed the heating of you know heating the hospital, right? You don't know. So for that purpose, we call this. Indirect. Salary of the head of the pediatric? Direct or indirect? Direct cost. Because it's, direct. you can easily trace that one. Mm. The fifth one, the salary of the head of the pediatric? Direct. A particular patient also, because we're talking about the head. Mm. It's already direct. Yes. Hospital chaplain salary. Uh, under, uh, indirect. Why is that? Because indirect cost. For everyone, not just for a particular patient. Right? Mm. Seventh one. Lab test by outside contractor, a particular patient. Indirect. Mm. Yeah, this is direct. Oh. If a particular patient, you know, doctor requested, you know, he should get tested for coronavirus, right? This hospital didn't, you know, it don't have any facility of testing.